I think that as of today, we live in the narrow AI era where we're going from ideas to applications and this is entering our lives and this is changing our lives. Strong AI, the general concept of AI, like conscious automata, this is still far away in the future. The, the term artificial intelligence and the research on artificial intelligence is not new. Uh, actually, it dates back to the mid-50s. 56, I believe, was the first conference when this terminology was introduced. One of the most used approaches is machine learning, or one of the flavors of machine learning called the deep learning, that uses uh, um, algorithms to execute a number of, uh, of tasks. This particular type of artificial intelligence has been used by the, the energy physics community for, for a long time, almost 30 years now. Since the end of the 80s, particle physicists are using machine learning as a tool to do several computingly heavy tasks. The typical one is tracking particle trajectories when particles emerge from the collision of the beams in the center of the experiments. We collide the beams, particles come out. We don't see the particles coming out, but we see the, what they leave in our detector. We need to connect these dots, and we use machine learning algorithm a lot to do this since the 80s. And of course, with deep learning emerging in 2012, we move to deep learning techniques just because they provide better performance. Deep learning is a specific uh, uh, branch of uh, uh, artificial intelligence and machine learning that uses uh, algorithms, uh, models called uh, neural networks that try to mimic uh, the way our brain works. The networks uh, are given specialized tasks within a full uh, uh, network of algorithms and each one becomes very efficient, for example, at filtering data, at, um, at extracting knowledge, at reducing the, the noise in, inside the original data. Can AI be our mean to do more with less? Physicists are used to, to emulate with computers the collisions that happen at the LHC in order to understand what they expect to find when they go and do the experiment. And, uh, and this is done with the algorithms, with the software libraries that were developed at CERN and in the other labs around the world that have encoded all the physics that we know about the interaction of particles with matter. This library is the state of the art of our understanding of how a detector behaves, and but it's extremely uh, slow. And so it demands a lot of computational resources and long term it might not be sustainable when our amount of data will increase. In the past uh, 10 years or so, we have seen uh, the availability of new computing platforms or even dedicated uh, uh, hardware for running uh, machine learning or deep learning that has uh, changed the, the field in, in, in many ways. So as a community, uh, high energy physics community and specifically at CERN, we are now looking at how to combine these new optimized uh, algorithms, algorithms, for example, deep learning uh, networks, and uh, this new hardware, uh, not only to do the, the standard classification uh, tasks that are important enough but are just part of the, of the full chain, but also in applications like simulation, for example, for accelerating, for doing fast simulations, for optimizing the operations of the accelerator, the detectors, or the entire infrastructure, and also for uh, discovering new knowledge. This is a very important part of, uh, of the new um, trends in uh, deep learning and artificial intelligence. is really knowledge discovery. This is changing uh, a bit the, the, the way uh, we, we work. Instead of having a model that we want to verify from the data, we can actually ask the data to tell us what the model is. And neural networks are very efficient at doing this. The big revolution of AI deep learning in the last 10 years allowed us to expand the scope of application from this speed up tool, let's say, to um, a different way to look at our data without the inherited prejudice of what the physics we know looks like and what the physics we expect to find should look like. The same way people are training algorithms to generate phases of people that don't exist, we could generate phases of particles 
that do not exist, but represent what the typical particle would do in our detect. Besides the application of uh, machine learning uh, to scientific data analysis at very large scale, there are other very interesting applications of this technology. For example, uh, the, the, the facilities, the accelerator, detectors, or even the computing infrastructure produce uh, themselves a large amount of data. For example, logs from, uh, from the sensors. Analyzing that information is also very important, especially because uh, as uh, uh, the accelerators become more efficient, but also more complex, it is important not to be reactive, you know, solve a problem after it has occurred, but to understand before something becomes a problem how to address it. This is very important because not only allows to keep the facilities in peak performance, but uh, saves uh, you know, quite a lot of money in the process. At the time of the X discovery, we were using machine learning heavily. Since deep learning emerged, we started a process of transitioning from classic machine learning applications to deep learning applications. And this process is ongoing and uh, is, it already had its first results, but we foresee the biggest impact to come at the next LHC run. And for what will come after the LHC, we expect deep learning to play a major role in the way we do things. We are also looking at the future. For example, there are interesting combinations of uh, neural networks, artificial intelligence, and quantum computing that could give us even more performance in the future. Another thing, which is a, a general problem with artificial intelligence, is uh, about uh, the ethics of using technology, and specifically uh, artificial intelligence, in our operations. This is something that is not specifically for physics, but is something that we want to work on together with, uh, with the community. So in general, uh, besides our specific applications, we are interested in working with the artificial intelligence community and other scientific and industrial uh, experts in understanding the potential and uh, the evolution of artificial intelligence technologies.